If you haven't seen the previous episodes of my Waking Titan alternate reality game recaps, I suggest you do that before watching this one. There's a link to a playlist which contains every episode in the description. On Friday, July 7th, 2017, the Atlas website, atlas-65.com, went live. Also, the Superlumina-6C website updated its homepage to include more text. A YouTube link going to the song Back in Time by Huey Lewis and the News. The Atlas website shows a completely different layout than previous sites and contains a small synopsis of the company. And another obvious glitch. The contact page states, Currently, the Atlas Foundation is not accepting press requests and recruitment is by invitation only, accompanied by an email address. Emailing the address has not yielded any results yet. On Saturday, July 8, 2017, four ads aired on Sirius XM 100 and 101. We are the mystery hiding in plain sight. If you're curious enough, if you're bold enough, you will find us. Close attention. Morse code can be heard in the ad, a message which reads probabilistic computing. Soon after, a second ad aired. Sometimes you hear something that sticks in your mind afterward. You'll wonder about it in your quiet moments. A question without an answer. A puzzle you can't solve. The Morse code in this message translates to evolutionary computing. Then, a third ad aired. Pay close attention. You followed our clues and solved our riddles. But you are missing a piece. Until now. Will you solve the mystery? Or will you wonder forever? Again, we hear Morse code, but this one reads 19 May 1933. This significant date is the birth of Edward de Bono who is known for propagating the term lateral thinking, which is solving problems through an indirect and creative approach using reasoning that is not immediately obvious and involving ideas that may not be obtainable by using only traditional step-by-step -step logic. Instead of having a mind which just goes like that, you've got a mind which goes like that, like that. In other words, opening up possibilities. In terms of the previous two Morse code messages, this would fit in nicely with lateral computing, where computing is basically the same thing as thinking. Finally, a fourth ad was played. Have we got your attention? We are the mystery hiding in plain sight. If you're curious enough, if you're bold enough, you can look for answers at wakingtitan.com. Go. It's time to finish this and begin something new. The Morse code in this last one reads, blue, white, red, black, yellow, green. Six colors. The colors used in Edward de Bono's approach to creative thinking which he wrote a book about called Six Thinking Hats. Five minutes after the last ad aired, the sixth sigil unlocked on the Waking Titan website. The answer to the sixth sigil is Six Thinking Hats. When completed, we get a message with an ETA for results expected on Saturday, July 9th. This date is not from 2017. The next Saturday, July 9th, is in the year 2022. 
and the previous one landing just last year in 2016. Typo, maybe? At the bottom of the page, there's a message that says important output from Mercury process, which links to a new PDF memo from an unknown person other than the signature with initials SM, which can only be Sean Murray, the creator of No Man's Sky. Also something to note is the use of mercury, the chemical element whose symbol is HG, which can be short for Hello Games, the independent company producing No Man's Sky. The message has some interesting data and notes, including the 180 keys for No Man's Sky that the community put into effect, and a promise stating, we intend to keep the process alive until the completion of Project Waking Titan in August. The following paragraph states, it is important to mention that we are very excited by the coming phases two and three. I have been calling each of these sequences phases since the first video. From this video on, I will be using the correct terms and attempt to rectify the previous titles in my Waking Titan series. Apologies. The last paragraph continues. Input from Mercury subroutine will pave the way towards new experiences in version 1.3 of a familiar universe. Awesome! So we're definitely getting a new update to No Man's Sky since the current version of the game is still in 1.2. And the familiar universe probably includes all the galaxies in the No Man's Sky universe. There was definitely some misunderstandings with the interchanging use of the terms universe and galaxy on the No Man's Sky official website. Is this a universe that you're building for your game or is it just one galaxy? It's a universe. Alex, who works here, who changed the text for some reason on our... Um on our website to say <laughs> a, uh, an infinite galaxy rather than infinite universe. I don't really know why he did that, but it caused some sort of like vague controversy. Sounds like Alex and I have that in common. Also on the footer of the memo is another YouTube link, which directs to- wait, what? what? Which directs to the song Groove is in the Heart by D-Light. On Sunday, July 9th, 2017, an email went out from Old Gods about Waking Titan preparing a video. When clicking on the link provided, we go to the Twitch channel for Waking Titan. For the next hour and eight minutes, Elizabeth Layton, the CEO of the Atlas Foundation, streams live four times, speaking directly to specific cities. Ready for the official London message. And the community involved. Oh. Lil Prog, you are right. You didn't solve the whole puzzle, but it doesn't matter. Phase one is complete and the results are far better than we anticipated. Expressing a deep appreciation for the hard work they have done in phase one of Waking Titan, and to expect even harder work to come. Welcome, London. You can see each stream that she broadcasted live in a playlist I've created in the description of this video. In her message, she invites all who are participating to join their citizen science division. But now the real work begins. We're inviting you to join the Atlas Foundation's citizen science division. Starting on July 21st, we'll have a series of very specific tasks we'd like you to perform, individually and collectively. As you can see, we're giving you time to rest and prepare yourself for what's coming. But none of us will be idle. Between now and then, we'd like, to, we'd like you to answer a few questions and apply for your level four Atlas Pass to help us establish benchmarks for what's coming. To take the next step, visit csd.atlas-65.com and join the Citizen Science Division today. Going to the site, we see immediately a box to place our email in. Now, I've already signed up, so if you're into this Waking Titan ARG and haven't done so yourself, I suggest you sign up for the email updates. Like, right now. If we click on the I to the left, we see a description of what CSD is and the areas of research they are focused on, all of which we have been introduced to since the beginning of Waking Titan. They seem pretty bent on discovering the nature of and even manipulating reality. The Atlas Foundation is dedicated to studying the nature of reality itself. If we go to the right, we see another glitched image with the title Loop 16 and a message saying, Boot process successful, now validating output. 
Clicking on the image brings up the same image viewer like the others, but this time the title of the image is clickable. It links to an image. Looks familiar, right? It was the image that came in the PDF memo from the Myriad website about user 021-F16, where the administrator of something was asking the US contractor to fix the image attached and using incentives to get the job done. Now we can see the image in its entirety. Also in Elizabeth's messages, she states that there is a survey available for people to fill out. We'd like you to answer a few questions and apply for your level four Atlas Pass to help us establish benchmarks for what's coming. This was emailed shortly after the stream was over to those who signed up. The survey asks questions regarding reality and your perception on a few certain things, like dreams and a singularity. Yes, actual physical copies of this Atlas IV pass will go out to 10,000 lucky travelers. The only thing one must do is to complete the survey. The ARG is nowhere from being over, but this first phase in Waking Titan is coming to a close. There are still tons of questions to be answered. One notable one is, where did Emily from the Etark forums go? Her last vlog seems to have been affected by the superluminant effect, and after that, silence from her. Anywhere. I'm Kyle Culver, also known as Diabetic Gamer. Thank you for watching, and as a reminder, all the links from this video are in the description. And until next time, good luck, Traveler. We're on the brink of creating something truly amazing. Something that will change our understanding of reality itself. Don't you want to be a part of that?